um, Galaxy Television uh, sister company. Will I say that? Anyway, the friend of the NTA, of course. They do um, a fashion show like four times a year. And uh, we just want to bring the pictures to you. They're really, really lovely. They are, uh, as a matter of fact, showcasing the beautiful works of Nigerian designers. So you should see this. Okay, that is it from the Nigerian television fashion show sponsored by the Galaxy Television. Let's move on. Human trafficking, it's something whenever you have an opportunity or the opportunity, they should condemn. If you see it happening around you, you should fight it. It's a worldwide scourge. You see it on CNN, I mean, major broadcast TV um, stations all around the world. They keep you know with several campaigns keep telling us human trafficking is wrong forced labor for women and children is wrong we should condemn it okay so now walia denuga and naptip have joined forces and there's a new drama that is going to be on television uh, i think it's on already it's entitled it's a time for action for us to stop 
human trafficking in our country because Nigeria is seen as you know as a venue where I mean as I seen like like as a venue for human trafficking and which is actually wrong we should condemn it whatever opportunity that we have so we were visited their press conference and we brought back these pictures I don't have money. If you two don't want to go to school, stay. If somebody join bad guys now, you say somebody's bad. Not today. Professor, take. You sit and pay your transport to school, buy food to eat, or whatever you want to do with it. Itoha only wishes to achieve her dream of improving the lives of her family by playing football. It's a good, honest plan. So, what could possibly go wrong? The war against human trafficking is one that has been fought endlessly around the world. Nigeria is a blessed nation with countless natural resources, but it is said to note that Nigeria is a source transit and destination country for women and children subjected to trafficking in persons, specifically conditions of forced labor and forced prostitution. In order to fight this scourge, the government through our agency, NAPTIP, the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons has continued to undertake the strong efforts to raise awareness on human trafficking and convict trafficking offenders. The agency has also embarked on a new project in an effort to further spread the message. NAPTIP and Wale Adenuga Productions have teamed up to bring into the home of Superstory series lovers a drama, Itoha, a call to action. Every story of super story is special to us. But this one is unique in this in the sense that it, it has can I say one of the strongest messages we've ever um, um, we've ever um, illustrated in super story. This is a very strong message. It borders on human trafficking and prostitution. The scourge is becoming unbearable, it's becoming overwhelming, it's becoming uncontrollable, it's becoming so big that it will soon go out of, out of hand if the government, all government agencies, government, private sector, individuals, don't put us together as to how to solve this quagmire. The drama series, which is already showing on major television networks, is to create the necessary awareness to warn the youths, parents and guidance against the state from people who coin innocent individuals into some of these acts. Because it's a crime that is shrouded in secrecy, because it's, it's, it's a crime that is shrouded in, in voodoo, you know that you don't have people willingly come out to come and give testimony. So, and NAPTIP also is the only law enforcement agency that deals with not just combating crime, prosecuting traffickers, but also rehabilitating victims of crime. So that's a big challenge. So you have, you have to deal with the trafficker, which you have to bring to justice. You have to deal with the victim, which you have to rescue. Then you know how to rehabilitate the victim so that she does not go back to where she has been put to. You understand? She does not become a symbol for other people to follow, thinking that that's the way to go. Itoha, a call to action, stars the exceptional act of some major artists in the industry. I kept asking myself so many questions. Am I sure I'll be able to do this? Because normally I don't like anything that has to do with rape. I don't like it, you understand. But this character, Itoha, was raped first, you know, so many things, things I know normally I don't like. But I, I said to myself, if really I don't like something and I want to talk to people about it, what's the best way I, do, I can do? It's my profession to act it. Well, this story is another type of story. It's another type of super story. It's not just the family drama or boy meets girl, they fall in love and all that. You understand? But for every good story, you must have a love angle to it. And what do people really want to say? They want to see newsworthy elements of the story. They want to make story. They want to see stories that will make them say, oh wow, you mean such things are happening. So for human trafficking, a lot of people have heard that people traffic girls, traffic humans to Europe and to many other things. But they don't really know what they go through. So this story actually tried to dig deep. That's why we picked the name Itoha. Itoha means mercy. You know, it means mercy. That means no matter how deep you are into this scourge, there's this hope for you. Wherever you find yourself across the globe, 
you can run to any government agency, you can run to any government embassy, you can run to any native office, surrender yourself and call for help. A lot of guests have been saved through such a thing, you know. Some then ran away from hotels, you get my point, to report at the nearest government agency. And government rescued them from the hands of those tricksters. So it's never too late. Even if you have practiced prostitution for 10, 20 years, the important thing is for you to decide within yourself to turn over a new leaf. And then, of course, by the grace of God, you become a normal person again and you can live a normal life and count that as history. Human trafficking is a fight that everyone joining hands with the government can attack to a standstill. Okay, that is one thing we do not need in our society and we should try as much as we can to fight. But quite a number of people also came up with their reservation because of the title of the drama because it seems as if it's been segmented to a particular ethnic group in Nigeria. Anyway, think about it. Okay, we have a fine, fine personality in the studio. I'd love for you to watch this and we'll bring him on. If you're one of those ladies who wonder when a good-looking, suave, polished, conscious, smooth, articulate dream boat of an actor was going to walk in and sweep you off your feet, then you need to wonder no more, because the guy with a 100% swagger is here. The award-winning Joseph Benjamin is arguably one of the most attractive faces in the Nigerian entertainment scene. He has charmed his way into the hearts of many with his good looks, smooth voice, great dress sense, and great acting skills, making him one of the most sought-after actors of his time. He's an all-round entertainer, a voiceover artist, a model, and a TV presenter. Joseph has explored every aspect of his career and aspirations easily. With the disposition and a good sense of humor, it is easy to feel comfortable around him. But as charming as he is, Joseph is one actor you don't get to see enough of on your TV screen. He is no poster face actor. For him, he is not about quantity, but quality. He has won so many awards. Recently, he won the Afro Hollywood Award for the Best Actor 2012. Big ups. Carry on. And live and direct, we've got Joseph Benjamin with us in our studios. Thank you so much, Joseph, for Thank coming. Thank you very much, Rose. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. Okay, and I must say this. This is the first time Joseph will be doing a television interview after winning the Afro Hollywood Awards for Best Actor in Africa. Wow, Joseph. Mm. That's an achievement. <laughs> yes, it is. And Thank thanks you for the much. honor. Thank you very After much. We just called you the moment you, you came back. You came back when? I came back on Tuesday. Tuesday. And we're like, you have to be on our show. Let's talk about this. This is a wow. It is. It is. It's, it's exciting. It's, it's, um, it's, it's equally humbling as well. Okay. You get it? Because um, I know a lot of fantastic actors were nominated in that category. But... Yeah. Um, I got it. So it's basically, it's not as if I was better than them, but it was okay. just, it was just a time for me to be celebrated in that platform. And I felt very excited and, <laughs> and then overjoyed. Best actor in Africa. They said the, um, the reward or the reward for an award is more work. Or how do they put that? There's a way they put that line. So we're expecting much more from you. Uh, yeah, a lot more. A lot more. I'm not resting on my oars. I, it's, it, there's a whole lot of work going on already for me. Okay. You know, so it's still more work and more work because to whom much is given, much is expected. Okay. Movies. I, I, I was almost going to say music. <laughs> Would you try that out sometime? I started out with music. You did? Of course. Tell me about it. <laughs> did you ever well, Did you ever come out with a single? Or? No, no, no. I was doing more of commercial singing because I was um, singing with a live band. Okay. We used to go for events and all of that. So I've been in music for like ever. It's my first passion. Okay. It's. it's but, but Joseph, I must tell you the <laughs> truth. For me, it's like okay. I'm always monitoring the entertainment industry. What is happening? Mm. And you know, you just came out from somewhere. You know, you just came <laughs> out. <laughs> you know, like. You just came out. I'm like, hello, who's that? 
um it's just like it's a propelling force that just propelled me from where i was to where i am right now okay so it's but the journey started long before now tell me about it if i remember the journey started for me the first experience was in this premises okay um uh, i featured in like about um three episodes of tales by moonlight wow <laughs> that's years ago <laughs> not years ago years ago yep. <laughs> uh -huh. three episodes yeah three episodes i acted in three episodes yes okay. Okay. yeah it started for me here because that's why this this terrain is 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 like home to me you yeah. know so the journey has started a long time ago and um but it kept transiting from one phase to the other, from okay. one phase to the other. And um, I even really before we came on, before I came on, I saw um, Wala Dinuga was being interviewed for something just yes, now. Yeah. And I remember I've done something for him, you know. Okay. These are the kind of people I've worked for, you know. Okay. So it just kept transiting for me from phase to phase, okay. phase to phase. And let me just push things a bit forward, you know. So, and well, what people see now, people see, um, they think I just came from nowhere. They feel, they think no, this because is that's the effect I also got. I know, but you know? the thing is, I've been, I've been, I've been doing my time, you know. Okay. And waiting. this is the time. This is the time. This is the time. That's awesome. MC, you anchor shows. Yeah. Of course, you MC yeah. events too, mm. and acting and blah blah. Let's just see a bit of what you've done uh, on the project fame. Okay, cool. Okay, let us just see. We have this clip put together. Let's see what Joseph has been doing. Because for me, I think that is what actually that was the the, the yeah, springboard. It, no, it was because it was. I, I always give props to that. It okay. kind of like relaunched me into the system again. You know. It Okay. it's a huge platform yeah so basically i just leveraged on it and every other thing started falling into place wow let us see it welcome your host adora and joseph thank you thank you very much thank you i am joseph benjamin and I Welcome, Welcome to MTN Project, Project Game West, West Africa, Africa Season 5. five. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Went. Fasten your belts and enjoy this musical ride. That will begin with Christian, who will be singing Payphone by Maroon 5. Let's hear it for Christian. Woo. Okay, that's Joseph <laughs> doing his thing. Wow. Okay, now, Joseph. How does that feel being on that stage? Or maybe the first time? How was it? Was that? But that wasn't the first time you were facing that and, I mean, yeah. number of crowd. Um, well, in that magnitude, yes, I would say it is oh, for okay. that this first kind of this kind of thing. Okay. But at least I faced a lot of crowds, you know. For I have faced a huge, uh, a wider number, you know. Basically, it, at least when I was doing music back okay. then, okay. yeah. And for this one, it felt really good, okay. like really good. I remember because I started off with them in two thousand and nine. That's in season two because Dari hosted um, the first season. You okay. know? I started off with them in season two, and I remember the first day we walked onto the stage, <laughs> I had butterflies in my stomach, trust wow. me. Because, like, you know, it's for everyone, even for every professional, it, it always it always falls in. It always yeah. falls in. Because, number one, you're coming to face an audience. Uh, okay. You're coming to face an audience. Do we have a phone call? Anyway, um, I think, sorry, Deb, for cutting your shot, Joseph. You could actually call us if you want to speak with Joseph. You can call him on 007. Three five three zero seven nine seven. If I would call that again, zero zero seven three five three zero seven. Yeah, five seven. So you could speak with Joseph Benjamin. Let us find out what's happening in his life. I can't do this alone. I can't do this alone. Okay, that. So that's the phone number. It is on the screen. So. Let's talk to Joseph. So you were saying. Yes, I remember. You know, like I said, for every professional, it's it's something. It, it happens. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it, it doesn't matter how 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 long you've been on the job. You know, coming first of all to face a crowd that you're you a, a totally an entirely new crowd. Yes. You do not know what to expect. You know, of course, you'd always want to bring your A game on, but there will always be this this little this little nervousness you know okay i think we have a caller hello thanks for calling us can you please hello. reduce the volume of your tv set hello can you hear me? i can hear you please reduce the volume of your tv set hello yes hello thanks for calling us hello i want to say hi to benjamin that's sweet go ahead hello benjamin Hi, how are you doing? I'm cool. What's up? 
Fine, thank you. <laughs> wow, I really do like you. Oh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I love you. Thank you very much. Talk to them on the okay, show. Okay, don't here. worry. If you talk to us, we'll let you know how you can get in touch with Joseph. Yeah, that's true. You can follow <laughs> me on Twitter as well. Okay, definitely. Yeah, you guys can carry on with the rest. <laughs> you know, I told my friend, Messi Michaels, she works with the nation. I was like, okay, Messi, I am having, I think we have another call. Hello? Hello? Hello, you can go ahead. You're on. Okay, we lost her. And I was talking like, I'm, I'm going to have Joseph Benjamin. He said she just went, wow, the ladies, man. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that all about? Well, I mean, all the ladies just look at Joseph. You know, it's like, it's, it's so comforting. You're so welcoming. I mean, hello? you're just, hello? Yeah? Hello, thanks for calling us. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello, my name is Kinsley. Okay, Kingsley, go ahead. Okay, we lost yeah. Kingsley. Maybe because it rained heavily. Yeah. Okay, just keep calling us. We'll put you on to speak with Joseph. So, I mean, everyone just looks at you and say, you're a perfect gentleman. Well, I would say thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, were you planning this? As in, were you, like, did you have it in your head? Like, once I'm, a, I mean, once I'm known, once I'm famous, this is the kind of disposition I want to give to people, you know? I've always been this person. Okay. I would um, say I give um, all credit to, because the, I grew up under my stepfather who, is a foreigner. He's Dutch. He's okay. from Holland. So I grew up under a white man. Okay. So to a very large extent, I was put on a path that was totally not the regular, everyday, typical kind of Nigerian kind okay. of upbringing. You know. Okay. So this this is just who I have been from as long <laughs> as far back as I know. Wow! Wow! That's really cool. Okay.